Bobby Ray. Ba 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 Bobby Ray. Ba 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 Bobby Ray. Ba 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 Bobby Ray. You got me rocking and a rolling, rocking and a reeling, Bobby Ray. Ba ba the Bobby Ray Show, everybody. Hey, welcome to the Bobby Ray Show. We're back at it. This is our Valentine's special, and Mr. Josh Hart, my co-host, happy Valentine's. I'm sorry I didn't get you anything, Bobby. You well, know. the day's not over. Uh, <laughs> I still hey, have a chance. Now, yeah, you, you do have a chance, you know. We got a love expert. She's going to tell it like it is, and we may not like what she tells <laughs> us, but she'll be our guest, and she'll be on in a few minutes. You don't want to miss her, that's for sure. Uh world renowned i think i mean she's awesome. she's the real deal yeah uh but we also but we thought we haven't done a top 10 in a long time and well i don't know do we have we were going to do top we don't have the budget for all all 10 so we're we still cut it on down the to budget five. yeah we're yeah we're on we're, the budget factor our graphics guy can only work so many hours he has a second job at taco bueno so uh <laughs> luckily he was able to crunch out five of these uh, uh, so we have the body right. ray top five top five yeah well, we'll make that famous yep oh uh, staff well we <laughs> we thought being valentine's uh so maybe some of you girls are going to go out you're going to go to the bar, you're going to have a happy, great time, you're going to be sitting at the bar, and guess what might happen? You're going to get hit on, maybe, and <laughs> maybe it's not somebody you're really interested in, and he's going to give you one of his favorite pickup lines, and what do you say? We got the answers for you today. Our top five, we're going to show you some favorite pickup lines that he might use, and then we're going to give you the answer to use, so you're ready to go. Now, if you want to have a drink with him, scratch these. <laughs> so these are for the rejects. All right, let's roll number five on our list here. We're going to show them, or? Yep. All right, there you go. So the guy will say, man, haven't we met before? Uh, your response, perhaps. I'm the reception at the VD clinic. He's out of there, okay? <laughs> All right, number four. <clears throat> Haven't I seen you someplace before? Now, isn't that com I mean, that's common? I mean, that's so common. That's, yep. you know, yeah, that's why I don't go there anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, staff, that, is that, 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 that's a subtle touch. That's of a like, subtle hey, touch. Yeah, back yeah. away a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, number three. Is this seat empty? Yes, and this one will be two if you sit down here, all right? <laughs> so, ugh, uh, staff. I, 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 I'm glad I haven't uh, met a girl like, like that. Yeah. Uh, all right, next. Oh, that's a good one. Your place or mine? Both. You go to yours and I'll go to mine. I mean, you know. And set, then, set that uh, setting that boundary, you know? Yes. And then number one. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a female impersonator. <laughs> out of there, right? Okay, out of there. Well, we got a good staff. Yeah. Yeah, we got a good staff. So, you, you get what you pay for. That's what, what I've always, always that's said. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah, you get what <clears throat> you pay for. Excuse me, that's what they say. All right, well, another, we want to do hall talk again. We've done a couple of hall talks. Yep. And we go out and see what, Average Joe Blow. That's probably not a good way to put it, is it? See what the guy walking the hall what the and every, girl. The yeah, everyday man. Everyday man and woman. And woman. Now, now that's, that's right. Better. All right. That's why you're here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we want to hear what they say about Valentine's. Are you getting your wife or significant other a gift? If so, what are you getting them? What do you expect? And so we're going to roll the tape here and let you judge how people are going to celebrate Valentine's. Wait a minute, you need to come here. What, what do you mean you don't do Valentine's? It's just a Hallmark <laughs> holiday made up when you should be taking care of your wife and your families all the time. If you love someone, why do you need a day to show it? Well, it's just, just a special day set aside. But it shouldn't every day be special for your family? Hey, absolutely, but it's just a little more special. No, every no, day. Every, every day, day is, is special. Every day for me is special. So, I'm the luckiest man alive. I've got a little kid. I've got a great wife. It's, I don't need a Valentine's wow. Day to show that. So, hey. Hey, 
Hey. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, of course. I mean, I thought I was going to have to tackle you there for <laughs> well, a minute. I love your show, so. Well, oh, great. You you watch the show? <laughs> I've seen get it a couple the, times. Get the boss out here, <laughs> would you? You're married? I am. Okay. Yes. So what are you getting your husband for Valentine's? So we do things a little bit differently. Uh oh. We normally wait. This do... is a PG, right? I mean, this. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no. This is PG. Oh, okay, good. All oh, okay, all right. Yeah, we usually do some sort of um, pizza and pizza. chips and maybe ice cream. We kind of do a pig out night. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so we didn't do the Stay... flowers and chocolate. I mean, there might be chocolate, but. Stay yeah. home and pig out. Yeah, yeah, wow. we love that. You could give him, or he could give you his and her tongue scrapers. Okay, my, all right. My then. reaction would be you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says on the bottom, okay. it freshens your breath. Okay. And removes tongue fur. Yeah. You will yeah. have a happy Valentine's. Thank you. You too, Bob. Yeah. You want to talk about Valentine's? Oh, no, thank you, sir. Well, why not? Oh. Hey, guys. Yeah. Valentine's. Oh, Valentine's. Day. Yeah. What are you going to get for Valentine's? Uh, lots of flowers. <laughs> How do you know? What are you going to give him? Nothing. Do you girls ever work or do you just walk the halls? <laughs> wait a minute. I want to know about this bad stuff. Huh? Come, I wait. Come here. Look at this guy. He, he looks like a, a Valentine's kind of guy. Huh? Do you celebrate Valentine's? No? Okay. Do you have a wife? Yes, sir. Is she expecting something for Valentine's? Always. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what's on tap for her? We won't show this till Friday, so we won't give her a, a clue. So okay, uh, yeah. um, just just dinner, dinner, dinner a couple of a couple of balloons and some roses, you know. So, so I had a deal here. Would you? She's a she's a queen, isn't she? Oh, of course. Of course. And you you probably want to take her to a castle, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. So. What? Are you taking her to White Castle? Uh, it depends the on hamburger how, joint. It, it depends on how our mood is by the time Friday get here. Whoa! Now <laughs> we're talking. There you go. So if it wasn't White Castle, it might be somewhere else. Yeah, and yeah. pretty nice with flowers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what's she gonna? What's she gonna give you? I ain't no telling. Probably a hard time. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. We're gonna talk about Valentine's. Well, no, huh? And that's what? shocking? That one, yes, it is. You're going to do Valentine's this year? Maybe. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Are you married? Uh, yes, I am. All right. Are you going to celebrate Valentine's? I absolutely will be. Okay. Can we ask, what are you getting your husband for Valentine's? Um, myself. Whoa. <laughs> wow. All right. His and her tongue scrapers. Okay, I, hopefully I won't be getting that. <laughs> what, what, but you, look, I mean, you said you're giving yourself to him, mm -hmm. all right? All There's right. going to be some Exchanges. kissing going. Yes. Yeah, yes. so don't you think you should have a tongue? It says here, removes tongue fur. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you don't think you need that. But. Actually, since I am from India, oh. I have been tongue scraping since I was about four years old. Oh. So I have no tongue fur. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we have wow. metal ones that we use and we have very squeaky clean tongues. Wow. <laughs> yes. And they work really well. I just require a really sweet man who brings me roses, Okay. which my husband brings me every week. Every week? He does. Every week he brings me beautiful flowers. Holy smoke. You're expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Golly. So, okay. So you won't be getting roses because you already get roses. I mean. Well, he can get me two or three dozen this time. <laughs> okay. Well, anything else I missed that I should ask you? What are you doing for Valentine's oh Day? Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. Uh, I'm going to get my wife something. But I can't tell you because this is going to air on uh, late Thursday. So when it shows up, I don't want her knowing what I'm giving her ahead of time. Well, how do you know that she's going to be watching? Oh, are you kidding? Well, that's a good point. We got you, huh? You do got me. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to celebrate Valentine's? I think so. <laughs> well, what do you mean you think so? Yeah. Okay. Yes, are Robert. you married? No. You have a significant other? Yes. Okay. Well, aren't you going to give him something for Valentine's? Well, he lives in Houston. That's a problem, isn't it? It is a problem. You're not really expecting anything then, are you, from him on Valentine's? 
probably. No, I no. am. Oh, you are. Yeah, but, I am. Okay, but then what? What are you expecting? What would you? What would be a good gift he could send you? I now love, this is PG rated, you know. We have to yeah, keep well, that's it. Fine. Okay, yeah. I love peonies. <laughs> love what? Peonies. The peonies. Those two. Those the two. flowers. Oh. The ones that are really, they look like a little cloud. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He knows that too. I've he, dropped hints. You've dropped hints. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or panties, either one. You, you the, like those right. two. I, but the, depend, yeah. Depend. Both. Well, let's hope yes. something something Thank special you. comes about this time. Peonies and peonies. There you go. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, well. No. Huh? <laughs> I. I want, I want Matt, when he gets a chance, to go back to the point where she thought, where she heard you say the word panties to her in the hallway. Yeah. Yes. And the eyes that she gave you. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I thought that's what she said. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't know what those were. They're flowers, right? Whatever they are. Can you imagine, you, you, tell your, you tell your significant other you want some peonies yes. flowers. Yes. Phenomenally yes. very gorgeous flowers. And he I, shows up with like four boxes yeah. of just nothing but underwear. Nothing but peonies. Like you could not have missed the point any more uh, in that point in time. I hope her boyfriend gets that point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's like, for sure. Goes, I bought you panties. Yeah, that face are. right there. There you oh. go. That's the face oh she was making Oh my God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> just wide-eyed and bushy tail. Did you just say yeah. panties to me? Well, isn't that amazing the response you get? I mean, yeah. we got it all over the board. Not many people wanted the uh, dual, no. you know, tongue scrapers I, yeah that didn't go over too well, well i didn't know those actually work i didn't know that that was the thing for indian culture i didn't so either what that amazing? learn something new every day on the bobby ray show you're since, welcome since she was <laughs> four years old yeah Un <laughs> unbelievable but i think uh so the thing that the one that really stuck with me was a guy that said eh we don't do valentine's yep you know my wife and i every day is valentine's so we don't do valentine's I think that's a cop out myself. I mean, what you know? Well, anyway, <laughs> so our our love expert yeah be here in a few minutes. I'm gonna get her take on that. Yep. What do you think about that? And how does that really work in a relationship that we're not celebrating Valentine's? Well, I I don't know. I I can't wait to hear what she has to say. In the meantime, though, we're gonna take a quick break. And for me, what I love more than Valentine's and the romance and the flowers and yep. know, getting panties is when <laughs> is when the love goes wrong. And so we found a compilation of kiss cam fails. Can't wait to show that to you. We'll be Yikes. back right after this Yikes. on the Bobby Ray Show. All right. Bobby Ray, Bobby. The Bobby Ray Show, everybody. 
Hey, welcome back to the Bobby Ray Show, our Valentine special. This is our first Valentine. Our very show. first one together. Hey, this yeah. is good, right? Yep. But what makes it the best is our guest, Jennifer Styers, love expert. And I, I look, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I want to I want to read a little bio. Okay. Because I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Okay. But you're so sweet to be here today. I know you've got a super busy day, Valentine's. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, thank thrilled. you. You were voted by Match.com as a top relationship expert in DFW for over five years. You currently serve as one of Match.com's national relationship experts for advice and consultation. And you are one of the most sought after and top love experts in the nation appearing on, I don't know, I couldn't even read all the radio and TV <laughs> shows uh, in the United States that you've been on. But of course now you can add the Bobby Ray show. I can now add the Bobby yes. Ray show. I, we yes. need to change my bio now, for sure. <laughs> I, and I'm sure it's taken you a while to get on the show, but we're Absolutely. glad you're here. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. I know. The no, waiting we, list was forever. Yes, yes. But we're so excited. This is fun uh, for our first Valentine's show. I love it. I'm honored. Well, thank you. And you saw, you were in the green room, and you saw the clip that we had a while ago, Hall Talk. Mm -hmm. And you saw the gentleman that said, look, I, Valentine's not, not for me and my wife. We don't. We don't celebrate. We don't give car. We don't do any. We're in love every day. We don't need Valentine's to say, I'm in love with you. And I know, and I'll ask Josh too, what would, what would happen to you if you went home tomorrow? She said, hey, where's my Valentine's? Oh, we don't need to celebrate Valentine's. I love you every day. I know what would happen at my house. What would happen at your house? I'd be out going back to the store right. to get something. <laughs> and uh, it'd probably be a lot more than if I'd have got it to start with. Yeah. You know? So now you're in trouble. But what do you tell people about that? I mean, how, do, how does that yeah, it's, work? You know, think? whether you celebrate Valentine's Day or not, I mean, it can, it, I'm not even a big fan of Valentine's, no. but you need to acknowledge it. No matter what the woman says, you need to acknowledge it. So I know we don't celebrate Valentine's, but I wanted to get you this card and these flowers. I wanted to get you this. My dad buys me chocolates. It's yep. the cutest thing. Like he's done it ever since I was little. Um, he brings me over a little box of chocolates and I don't even eat chocolate, but, but it's the gesture and yep. every man should get something. Okay, Just make it happen. It doesn't even matter if it's a card and a little gift or candy or chocolate or whatever. Get her something. Something. Get her something. Even if you don't celebrate it, get her something to just say, I'm acknowledging you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Any, Otherwise, you're in trouble. Any of you out there that saw his clip, you just heard from the expert what you need to do. <laughs> yeah, don't so, listen to her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do not so, listen to her. How, how long have you been doing this? How long is your career? Is, is I I've been over 20, 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. All right. So I got to ask you, you've dealt Since with... Since I was two. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, no, I thought four, but that's, that's yeah, close. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, close. That's yeah. close. Yeah. So I, I thought, okay, you've had 25 years of doing this, mm -hmm. giving advice, hearing all kinds of stuff. So I just kind of want to jump right in. Jump in. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what, what is the most interesting and most humorous uh, that you've heard, you know, issues that you've had to deal with or hmm. uh, problems that somebody, they've come with you, come to you with a problem and, you know, Oh, this is this is funny, you know. <laughs> you know, well, that's that's interesting because I don't really, I don't know that anybody's, I don't think that anybody's problems are ever funny. I wish that they were. Good answer. Um, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm really not being politically correct. Yeah, no. I think, regardless of what somebody's going through, a problem is a problem and it's a challenge for them. Um, so it's, it's always real in somebody's world, whatever the challenge is. So okay. people need to understand that there are really, when people go, there's no stupid questions. There really are stupid questions, yeah. but there really are not humorous or stupid problems that people have just okay. because, you know, you never know when somebody, uh, hasn't had an experience in their life. I mean, I've had people that have that, you know, come to me and they're wanting, you know, matchmaker, they're wanting to meet somebody yeah. and they've never dated before. They've never been on one Thanks. date in their life or Thanks. they've never been intimate, truly intimate yes. with somebody. 
before. And yep. so like those are cha those would be challenges, challenges, especially somebody who's never dated before. Yes. So, um, you know, but everybody's just where they are and you meet them where they are and go from there. So is there, so, is, is there any typical time a couple should date before they get married? Uh, that's you a, recommend? That's such a fabulous question. <laughs> uh, you know, People like to jump into things too fast and people should take their time. We need to get to know somebody yeah. because yeah. people a lot of times show you their representative for the first six months, right. year, yeah. three right. years, I've even heard. Um, so you want to make sure that you know inside out who that person is. Yeah. However, I know people that got married after a week of knowing each other and they have the best marriages. So I don't know that there's a cookie cutter answer, but don't rush into things. Don't. Don't rush into things. But those, Take your time. Those were the weak. Those are more of the anomaly. Than, they are the yeah. anomaly. Yeah. They yeah. are the, yeah, 0. 000, 000, yeah. 000 percent. Yeah. And I would say most of those that I know, they happened a long time ago. It's not today's world. Yeah, no. It's not today's world. As you know, we had Ted Nugent on a couple of weeks ago. They were celebrating anniversary number 31. Wow. And That's amazing he, show business. He walked into a studio uh, to, to do an interview or something, and there she was, and they dated for three months and got married. Wow. So that's definitely on the short side. Yeah. And now they're at number but 31. But that was 31 years ago. There and you I think go. we're that, in a different yeah, place in yeah, time now. Yeah. I mean, people, we've got, we are a society now that we're so distracted. Everything's at our fingertips. Yeah. Um, if we don't get something as fast as we want it, we move on to the next thing and we do the same thing with love and dating. So we, we're in a different world now. So I don't necessarily th think that things that apply to somebody 31 years ago are going to apply today. Okay. So I'm going to now flip that a minute. So all the problems you've heard, mm -hmm. is there ever been one that you really couldn't solve for them or give them good advice on that it was is that a yes or is that? <laughs> well, you know, I think there's a consensus answer for me when you say that. The only thing we can't help is somebody who can't accept help. Uh, so the only okay. people I've ever been able, that Very I've never good. been able to help are people uh, that weren't coachable, yep. that refused to take my advice or refused to change, that wanted to keep doing things their way. And that's where people go wrong. I mean, if you seek out advice or if something's not working for you, you need to change it, right? The definition yep. of insanity is doing the same yep. thing over and over yep. again. Yep. And some people don't want to change. Yep. Um, so you that's... have to be coachable. So I have to dismiss clients before for not being coachable. Yep. It, it, I can't do anything with them. Yeah, I can't okay. do anything with them. If someone else is always a problem, that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's a big red flag. Yeah, that, thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. That's, a great, that's a great point. You know, when I got married, uh, so there were cut, we got advice, obviously. And How long did you date her before you married her? Oh, gosh. We, I don't know if we have this long, you know. We, we met in the sixth grade. Oh my God! Yes. So we we How I don't cute. and we dated all through high school. So uh -huh. we, so we. So did you got date all through high school, then break up, and then get back together? We would you? during high school there would be little times mm -hmm. that we would break up, you know, and mm -hmm. you know, in junior high or whatever, she'd give mm -hmm. me her disc back, or I'd give her her, you know, whatever. And Sorry, your disc back? Well, this little thing you wore around <laughs> yeah. your neck, I, you a, know, a ring? it was a. That was a little circle, silver circle, you know, and it had her name on it, and she had one that had my name on it. Oh my. That was your disc. You want to trade disc with me? That's a big deal. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, we had occasions that, and then obviously high school, uh, a little different. Yes, but we did date other people, mm -hmm. and uh, we got married, and we've been we've been married. So you been got married, married ever after since. high school or after college? High school. Okay. High wow. School. That's, that is and amazing. We, yes, and then went on to college. I want to meet her. I want to see do? you guys together. Oh, my God, absolutely. <laughs> no, I do. Okay, Phyllis. I there do. you got it. Where there, are you, you know, Phyllis? Where are you, Phyllis? I know you're uh, How, that's out totally with cute. the girls having lunch, I yeah. think. Today. That doesn't, you know what? That doesn't happen very often anymore, at least in this part of the country. Yeah. You tend to see a lot of that in the Midwest still. Yeah. But people that do that yeah. tend to stay married forever. It's well, I think I said I, we actually got married. We were senior in high school. Oh my God! So here we are. We're still we we are still here, married. Do you have so, children? Yes. Yeah. Two children, grandkids. Got the whole the whole That's pack. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. That it, is it's awesome. It's been great. 
And, and, but they told, uh, one advice was, don't ever go to bed mad. Have you given that advice, or is that old-fashioned advice, or, you know? Did you take that advice? Well, we... we <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> we, we, we worked on it. We tried, you know, to do it, and we were pretty successful with it. Now, there were times when we were up for three or four days, but, yeah. you know, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, but we, 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 we're not we worked sleeping. on it. We're still mad. You know, and then she, you know, and the other thing she or we said, OK, look, how, how's this going to work? You know, there's always decisions to make and, yeah. you know, who's going to. And so we decided, OK, you, Phyllis, you make all the little decisions and I'll make all the big decisions. OK, so we were good with that. Now, as long as we've been married. There's, I've never had a big decision to make, you know. I love it. So I, know. I was going to say, how do you constitute yeah, a big decision? Yeah. No, I know it doesn't. I mean, even... the Mercedes is a is a small decision. Yeah, yeah the new home, the scheme of things. Absolutely, yeah. it's you know? a small decision. She, she, yeah. So she makes all of them. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we've that's been, why you're still married. I guess, yeah, she that's made, right. She makes yeah. all the decisions. So you could put that in your uh, repertoire. Yeah. You know, and, hey. and I I do want to answer your question because I think it was such a great question right. when you said, what "Do you go to bed mad? Don't go to bed mad." I think it depends on the person. I think there's some people that. That um, absolutely cannot stand, um, you know, to be upset with somebody. They can't take it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they yeah. they will work their hardest to push somebody past their comfort zone. Yeah. And there are people that need to process things. Like I'm a processor. Like don't talk to me until I've processed this. Okay. I'm gonna think about it. Yep. And if somebody pushed me, they'd be in trouble before okay. I was right. Because I'll come around, but I need my time. So we do need to understand that people process things different. They have different yeah. love languages. Yeah. So the whole don't go to bed mad, just go to bed in peace, yeah. knowing that things will be resolved. How yeah. about that? That's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we had a, another guy on. I mentioned that to him. He said, Our, we did the same thing, okay? And the two or three times that that just wouldn't work, we got in bed and he said, uh, ours was, you know, don't go to bed without kissing. Have a kiss every night <laughs> in bed. Mm -hmm. And he said, a few times we went to bed and there was no kiss. But after she went to sleep, I reached over and kissed her. Aww. So, you know, she, she couldn't. It. Yeah. She so what are you doing? Yeah, that's, she, so she couldn't say. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so do you, do you do that? Do you go to bed? Uh, Happy man? So, I don't because what my wife does is she's also, she likes to process, she also likes to talk through things. But if she, after a certain time has passed, she'll let it go. Yep. But she won't have resolved it. Uh, so she'll got you. She'll move on, but not move past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so if, I, if I, we don't stay up and just make sure we either have a solution in mind, We've been up until 3 a.m. before talking through a solution. What's, yeah. the, what's the fix for this problem? Some people yeah. need that. She, yeah. would, she would go to bed and wake up and be fine, yeah. but it would be different. Right. Uh, and then I'd, then I'd have to like pick that fight again, which seems ridiculous, uh, to get to a solution to conversation. At least you know her by See? now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. love languages. Are you, are you big into that? Is that part of your... I do think there's a lot of validity to it. To it? Yeah. Right. Phyllis... She believes in that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. No, there's a lot of validity to it. You, we. <laughs> uh oh. I like how you said <laughs> Phyllis believes in well, that. Well, no, I, you I made know that it really clear. when you think about it. Have you read the book? Uh, part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, got the it. The part okay. that applies to yeah, me that yeah, Phyllis yeah. told me applies but to me. But she said right? here, but it's, you know, there's five, right? Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, which one are you? And I said, well, probably that one. You're right. So see, I didn't need to read the That's book. That's it. That's and it. Which yeah. one is she? You know, so we pretty much agree, but it is interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the best part of that book is, is people end. having a conversation. <laughs> Yeah, right. people yeah. talking about what they want, how they want. I, in my opinion, those things vary. They vary on attitude, mood, change, seasons, right. uh, the relationship ebb and flow. They vary. Yeah. But just knowing that those five exist and having the conversation, I think that's the important. Because part. people love in different ways, and if we if we process love, if if we're like let's just say it's a words of affirmation, if we if yeah. we need to hear the mm -hmm. verbal word, yeah. but and somebody else is an acts of service and they're bringing us cards and gifts and yeah yeah right they're yeah. they're let me take you here let me do this for yeah. you yeah. 
And that's love to you. You yep. feel like you've loved that person and they're feeling like they're not loved. Yep. So it, it is important that you understand and know yourself yep. and you know your partner. And I think that's where all of love, where the answers all lie, is if people knew themselves, if they knew themselves, who they are, what they want, what they need, they communicate that to their partner and they know that about their partner, then you have a good relationship because you're both giving each other what you need. It's, it so sounds, you should try. It sounds so easy, doesn't it? It is easy. Yeah, okay. It is easy if you're, if you're, if you're committed, if you're committed yeah, to it. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah. that's the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so mine is, what was it? Acts of service. Your acts of service. So give you an example. All right. I'm the first one to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I make the coffee. We have coffee deal in our, in our room, in our, in our, anyway, in our room. So I make the, the coffee, a little coffee bar. I make the coffee the night before. So I get up. She's in bed. I get the coffee going. I go in and, You're a dream man. and get her, dream man. get her warm up. She likes mm -hmm. to have a warm up, you know, and she gets out of her PJ. So I get her warm up and her little slippers. What's a warm up? You know, a, a jumper. Oh, jump, okay, got uh, it. Is that okay, whatever it is? Uh, yeah. Okay, I, like a robe or whichever. Yeah, okay, got yeah. It. Mm -hmm. So I get that mm -hmm. into the bed, and coffee's brewing. I go out. Phyllis is spoiled. I'm telling you. Phyllis is spoiled. And, Phyllis, you're spoiled. And then you Good know what's you, next? I bring her her coffee, and I make put the mocha in. You know, so when she's up, she's got her stuff. She puts on. She's got the mocha. Got the paint. She's ready to go. The, the problem with that is, is if you ever forget the mocha one time, she's like, where's my oh, mocha? Oh, yeah, no, no. Bob. Well, no, <laughs> you'll get up and say, uh, are we out of coffee? Oh, no, I'm getting it. I got it. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. That's so great. Yeah. That's so great. It's fun. It's you're, fun. You're a dream guy. You're a dream guy. Phyllis, are you listening? Phyllis, I, oh, hope, you, Phyllis. I hope you know what you have here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Golly, I'm going to take you home with me Check. and so you can have a talk coffee with her. Coffee in bed, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need. Uh, so you, you, you work with married people, you work with single people. I do. Is, is there anything different you tell advice for single people and married people, or is there a common? Uh, you know, well, obviously the advice is always different with each and every person. Yeah. Um, just depending on their situation. But I will say this, if, and this would be the best advice I could give anybody that's in a relationship and may need some help. One person can fix a relationship, one person doing the work. So if your partner won't go to counseling, you know, there's a problem, get work, get some help for yourself because one person can change a relationship by you changing, sometimes going back, changing the dynamics and how you're reacting or doing things can completely change the relationship. So um, yeah. I've, I've, I've done it for years where yep. I will not have a spouse that will come in and maybe that's the spouse that's cheating and I'll take the one that's, you know, that is open to coaching, counseling, saving the marriage and change the behaviors a little bit. They go back to their environment impose the changes and things change. change. So it can happen. So okay. don't, don't give yeah. up faith on that. Wow. Yeah. You've got a great job. I love my job. You, yeah. Cause I mean, when you're able to keep people together, get people together, yeah. I mean, really that's, that's gotta be uh, it's, exciting. It for is you. beautiful. I'm watching people, uh, watching people, uh, come into their own, realize who they are, realize what they want, find what they want, be happy. Yeah. It's the it's the most joyous experience. It really is. Yeah. It really is. Now getting there is not always fun, but it's not yeah. it's not the work that it need that some people think it needs to be. It's a result it counts. Yeah. So yeah. one last question. Mm -hmm. You're you're big into match.com working with people is that or what do you do for match.com well, match, how's that match basically <laughs> match has named me as one of their relationship experts um they, right. they pick 10 from across the country uh that they have think they have the most influence and uh i do a lot of media for them so right. that's basically and and they bring me in 
um, a few times a year, or a few times uh, every few years, I should say, to get up on, they send me statistics regularly, they keep me up on the dating news. Um, so okay. I, I don't spend a lot of time on Match, and I, I'm not big into online dating. Okay. Um, that I, was can my give next yep. I can give people advice on it. There's okay. people that probably give better advice that if somebody ha needs advice on online dating, I could probably give you somebody that gives better advice than me because I'm a matchmaker. <laughs> um, but because uh, there's ways to navigate around that world, and it's yep. getting tougher and tougher and tougher. Um, but the majority of people online date now. That's just the thing. That's it. Yeah. And there's so many, well, I say so many, aren't there several of those? I'm not on, out there, so I don't know, but Good I hear. Nice, nice yeah. save, Bobby. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> nope, there's, Phyllis. Yes, there's several of them, mm -hmm. aren't there? I mean, there's all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, Match owns most of them. They own like 40-something brands. Oh, They my own God. Tinder. They own wow. Our Time. They own, they own almost all of them, okay. except for Bumble. They're not, a, they don't own Bumble. That's separate, but um but they don't a lot, and online dating's big, and you have to know how to navigate around it, and you have to be committed to it. So how do you know which one to get on? If I all of a sudden became single, and I mm -hmm. want to get on that <laughs> online stuff, what? Well, I mean, I wouldn't even know. How do you know where to go first? What well, you, the, is that part of the problem, that, I guess? It is. Look at what are you laughing at? What's he laughing at me for? Picture you sitting up a Tinder account you going through and trying to do Tinder. I was going to say, if you want, the, they say I'm that calling they Jennifer. Say, I'm they Jennifer. say the hookup yeah. app is Tinder. Yeah. Uh -oh. The hookup, just for hookup. Uh oh. Um, so it's people that are just not really wanting a relationship. They just I mean, want to have you fun. Could, you could get on the wrong one. And then what? Have oh, yeah. I thought this yeah. was, oh no. This, yeah. Oh, my God. You'd be probably amazed by the pictures you got, Bobby. Right? Yes, I bet that's right. <laughs> You're like, what? Uh, I just wanted to be for coffee. Yes. Yes. Um, but, uh, Are you coming like this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. The um, the women like Bumble. I know Bumble. a lot of the women like Bumble because they get to choose. But I mean, all of them, all of them have potential. Um, all of the da all of the dating apps have potential. It's how you're using them and navigating around them, hmm. yeah. and it's hard. Yeah. It's yeah. hard. I'm not gonna. I'm not yeah. going to lie. The best yeah. way to meet somebody is organically. Yeah. You know, I'm a matchmaker. Not everybody can afford me. Not everybody wants to use a service. People that are really busy hire me so that they, um, so that they don't have to go out there and find somebody. Yeah. I bring them people to them. However, the best way to meet somebody is to go out organ and organically meet them. Go out with your friends. Go to happy hours, not late night bars. We go to happy hours. Go to do activities that you enjoy. If you like the arts, if you like concerts, if you like fishing, if you like golfing, get involved in your activities and meet people that like the things that you like. That's the best way to meet somebody yeah. or through friends or family that you trust and love. But so, they're not always the best. So <laughs> Phyllis likes to watch these Hallmark oh. cheesy yeah. Hey for you. Hallmark movies. So, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's watch one of those tonight. Okay. But some of them are not bad, you know. <clears throat> but one of them recently, she was a matchmaker. Mm. And so she would talk about, okay, you're, you're a 50% match with this guy and you're 80%. Is that the way it kind of, you put all the... She obviously uses an algorithm for matchmaking. Okay. I which, think she did say that. Yeah. yeah. Which I don't uh, of course, do. This is TV. This is movie. Yeah, okay? that's, that's me, Hollywood. That's, so technology you know. has its limitations. What it comes down to with matching people, and you can attest for this, it's it's how people because you've been married for a long time. It's how people get along, their lifestyle, their commonalities, their shared values, their shared morals, um, activ activities that they enjoy together. It's it's not an algorithm. Yeah, you it, cannot algorithm the important stuff it's yes dear yeah i mean exactly. if, you were, yeah, <laughs> exactly. if you remember that You're so fine. yeah is there any final advice mm -hmm. you could this is valentine's any final advice i you think could the give advice that, that would yeah no yeah. i think advice i would give everybody whether they're married in a relationship or single is um remember that commitment means something so whether you have it in your life or you're looking for it um cherish it once you find it. And if you're out there dating and you like somebody, stop dating everybody else and put your focus and energy on that one person, mm -hmm. you know, initially so that you can, it just, it takes commitment and commitment is something that people have forgotten. Yeah. But yeah. that's really, that's really the advice I would give. And if you are in a relationship or married, cherish and adore the person you have there. Nobody's perfect. 
Yeah. So you can you, hear that. Grass yeah, is, the yeah. grass is not greener somewhere else. If yep. you find somebody that brings you your warm up <laughs> and your coffee in the morning, then hey. stay in love forever. Hey, stay there. <laughs> so you hear that, Phyllis? You hear that, Phyllis? But yet one more thing. I mean, uh, you know, with us, of course, everybody has arguments and have the ups mm -hmm. and downs, and but it just seemed like divorce was never an option. Good. And and I think today maybe divorce is too easy. You know, it is to get and it's, you know, people jump to that because mm -hmm. that's easier mm -hmm. and it can be maybe sometimes quicker than want to go do the hard, hard work Absolutely. and you the just heavy lifting mm -hmm. to fix it. Oh, I think I'll just get divorced. Right. Well, that's, that's our immediate, bad. that's our immediate society. Yes. Like, and yes. like you said with your, like yeah. everybody wants it fixed. And they want it fixed yesterday yeah. or they yeah. want a resolution yeah. and some things just take time. Yeah. It's everything's a process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Jennifer, this is great. I, it was fun. Oh, it was yeah. fun. Thank you so much. And I want to meet here. Phyllis one of these Okay. <laughs> uh, you're on. Well, I will take, I will, uh, I shouldn't have had her come today. We could have had, no, I don't know about that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a sweetheart. Well, thanks I'm for lucky. having me. You Thank are. You happy for, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. Thank you Go for get being Phyllis here. I've don't, I already got it. Okay. Go. All right. Let me tell you this. I know I keep going back. Of course you did. So, I got her cards a day or two ago. Cards. Cards. Girl. I got three. Mm -hmm. And I put them in, my, in the glove box of the car, you know. Okay. So yesterday we were out somewhere and it was raining. So she wanted to get the umbrella out of the glove box. She said, and she picks it. Up. I said, oh, no, I had no good years. Should I go get her three more or just? Did she see them? She saw them. She didn't open them. Then never. Then you just. You, I'm you good. Just, you're she knows good. I got them because I was, good. you know, always kind of su surprise her with them. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my god, uh, you're the uh, luckiest woman in the world. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's well, so I just charming. don't agree with that guy. I think Valentine's uh, is special, and I think Josh thinks that too. He's I wanting to jump in that. there no, with no, something. No. Huh? Uh, I was no. all you like. You want to. Say something. I just don't know why three. Like, you do like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What's Probably the one's three? funny, you know? one's yeah, serious, yeah, yeah. right? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I normally put them in. You know, I normally give a normal one that I might put one in her Bobby Ray lingerie in her jumper. Drawer so or cute. You know. Oh my See there? God. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna melting. get uh, Matt, I'm our melting. producer. I need this. I need this released immediately <laughs> when I leave here because I'm going to call Phyllis up and say, you need to turn this That's on. That's right. Yeah. Phyllis uh, gets the pre-release. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah, for, sure. This is great. Well, all right. I hope all of you got something out of our uh, Valentine show and with our love expert and boy, what a show next week. I, I, I think I'm just waiting. Let it be a big surprise. So anyway, you don't want to miss next week. We'll see you then.